You can go ahead with questions for Coach Miller. Coach, yeah. sure. thoughts on the game? Um, well played, well pitched, well played, great offense, a lot of hustling, plays on the base pass, um, attacking, aggressive, strong, everything that um, used to describe us is coming back. And then, uh, Patty, just what stood out to you about uh, the way that Kirsten uh, attacked uh, today? Confident. She really looked confident. She did a good job of getting ahead and keeping them off balance. That's a very good hitting team. We all have seen that. So for KD to keep them off balance, keep the ball uh, in the park, and I know in the seventh it's a little bit different. I mean, and I'm not making an excuse for her because she's very upset over that. But um, and she threw a great game. I mean, they're going to get one, and they did. And that's, I mean, but we're up by 13, so we can manage that. So I thought this was one of her better games. She, um, this is a great rebound from the weekend, from last weekend. So really happy with that and excited to see what she's going to do as we go forward. Patty, that first inning, you see your two freshmen. This moment's not too big for them. We see three two pitches with Ella and Cassidy. Uh, home run, a three two, two out single, two run single. Just talk about those freshmen coming in the big moments in the postseason. Well, it seems like you always, you all ask me about them almost every time we're in here. So that is wonderful news that um, they just can't be stopped. And they're really smart hitters and they're very poised hitters. They don't get too excited. Um, you can see them kind of between pitches, kind of talk, say something out loud to themselves. And then they step back in and they reset. And um, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've seen freshmen be so poised and confident and strong. They swing it. They, they hit the ball really hard. So um, glad they're on our side. Pat, can you take a little more of a broad view of Kirsten and her, her evolution this season? I mean, you guys came in with so many arms you were looking at. And just how did she evolve to get to the point where she's, she is now? Well, a lot of hard work, and um, if you remember her freshman year, she had some really bright moments towards the end of the season. I think we just tried to jump, start right into that her sophomore year. And um, she was not afraid. She trusts her stuff. And um, I don't know, she's just put in a lot of hard work, a lot of growth. She's grown up a lot, I think. Pitchers want to do so well, and they get real. They can get real emotional at times, and that will take them out of their game. And I think Katie has really grown herself into uh, a pitcher that can manage the hard stuff and, and say, "Give me the ball, get us out of this." And um, I don't know. I mean, she was just money tonight. Kirsten, how eager were you to get back in the circle after last weekend? What was your mindset? Yeah, I just wanted to do it for my teammates. I think we're um, like talking about just playing for each other and not letting the moments get too big and just continuing to pass the bat or pass the pitches, whoever's in the circle, just being all for those pitchers. So just going and wanting to do it for our staff, our coaches, our teammates, just staying in that headspace. Here, so we, we've talked a lot about your development at various times this year, but how have you seen your, the mental side of that, being able to bounce back and in turn around and have another great outing? Yeah, definitely just a lot of the training that we've been working on and just really like diving deep into that and just understanding how to keep my confidence high even when something doesn't go good, you know? So just kind of staying in the, okay, that just happened next pitch mentality, that has really helped me grow into kind of like being able to bounce back faster. Yeah, well, you, well, seem, you seem really locked in right now. How do you feel after playing? You just seem so comfortable. I'm just free, playing with an empty mind not letting any situation really get the best of me. Um, my breathing has been really helping me, just keeping myself locked in. You hit well with two strikes. You don't seem to get bothered by that. Just focus on my breathing, that's all I can do. It helps me stay sane. Ella, kind of as, as Coach was saying, how cool is it to see, like you and Cassidy as freshmen, especially early, kind of having it going in, in a game like this? It's really cool, um, just being able to play with all these athletes, um, for the season, but um, we're really just playing with an open open mind, having the idea of like not being able, or not being afraid to lose. Like, what do we have to lose? 
um, but everything to gain. Oh, you uh, see? Can you kind of talk about, Patty was talking about your, your growth, your evolution. Did you feel like you had a moment or a stretch maybe this season where you turned the corner and started to feel like you know what we're seeing now? Um, I don't think per se it was just like one specific moment. I think it was just a lot of factors leading up to it, being able to um, talk to a lot of the aunts we have up the classroom, just kind of leaning into them and being able to get great info from them of how to kind of go about the season and the conference that we're in and into postseason. So just leaning on teammates and um, leaning on our coaches and mentors. And Is there anything in particular maybe some of those older arms, you know, told you or advice that you feel like you sort of leaned into? Um, they all tell me to just be confident out there. Just go at the batters. Know that you bet on yourself right now. So. Patty, going in tomorrow, uh, is your pitching about pretty well set up and quite as well as you can have it with everybody rested? Yeah. Kirsten? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel really good. I think all hands are on deck. We, we were kind of hoping for this opportunity, just one, to face Texas and two, to get better from it. So, um, yeah, I think everybody's going to be really excited about the matchup if. Yeah. <laughs> did I say Texas? I think I just said it wrong. No, you said Texas. Oh, I did? I said Texas. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'll get to it quickly. But okay. Patty, <laughs> although your offense has been the dumbest story the past two games, uh, your pitching is also been really dominant. Uh, can you just describe what you've seen out of them these past two games here? Just, again, just pitching wise, um, just a lot of focus. I think they. We've had spurts where I think they would want to take back some pitches, take back some innings, and it's really trying to get, I really loved watching uh, Peyton Monticelli yesterday, and we needed to see that. And they face our team at practice, and our team knows exactly what's happening. So it's really hard for them to gain confidence sometimes when, you know, somebody knows every pitch you're gonna throw. So. Um, they've been in the bullpen. They've been working really hard with Coach Rocha. And uh, Keeney was really good when we saw her last. KD is looking good. Kelly's going to be there. She's there, but she's going to be at another level. I feel really confident about that. Um, we've, got, we've got everybody on deck, everybody working hard. Nicole May has had really bright moments. So um, we're going to... We're going to work with our pitchers. We're going to score runs for them. We just want them to just compete like nobody's business and not get caught up in outcomes or, oh, gosh, just just go. Just go. Just, just like Ella Parker saying, keep your mind free, take your breaths, get in there, and throw a competitive pitch every time your arm swings around in a circle. Uh, because when you do that, you're going to win more times than not. You're going to beat that hit. And that's what we need to let go of is expectation and just stay in the moment where our feet are. Stay grounded where our feet are and absolutely take it to whoever we're playing. We have time for two more questions. Oh, okay. When you faced BYU earlier in the season, well, after that loss, you said, we got to have more than one arm. I know that it hasn't been perfect since that night, but do you feel like, I don't know if there was a challenge issued or Everybody just dug in, but did you feel like that was an inflection point for getting your arms to where they are today? Um, I don't know. Did you say that? Hmm. Well, we took it as a challenge, at least. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to answer that, <laughs> except that um, they know that they're needed at their best right now. But so do our hitters. So if we can put this all together at the right time, we've got something really special. Uh, but it's it's the fearless mentality is what we're looking for from top to bottom, the entire team. But the pitching staff needs to just kind of breathe a little fire. Patty, you talked about practice earlier this week and then obviously the game today, how your team looks more like their former selves. Do you feel like you, at any point this season, have kind of slipped out of your normal character? and Personally? Get back into it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think every coach does, yeah. I've had frustrating moments, for sure, where I would go home and go, I don't have any idea what to do here, but I'm, we're not built that way. Like, we're always gonna find a way to get something to click, 
somehow, some way, and we aren't going to stop till we figure it out. So that's always the mentality, but sure, I mean, this is a very talented team that has had a few valleys, but the valleys have been really important for us. I think um, what you're seeing right now is response to some of that. And it may be a little bit late, but we want to win national championships. I mean, you can be the best of 12 in a conference, or you can be the best of 300. And um, we're always searching for trophies, trust me, we're hunting them, but um, it's never too late, you know, it's never too late. So I am really pumped that we're moving the needle right now.